Here we're showing you the pulley rein. This rein is used to stop the horse abruptly. One hand presses down into the mane, the other hand pulls straight up. The hand pushing down into the mane gives the rider the stability so she does not get pulled forward. And then the hand rising straight up stops the horse. This is a great rein aid to teach the horse to stop abruptly onto the half halt. And it's the rein you want to know and be comfortable with and use if your horse ever should run away with you. Here we're going to show you the neck rein, both hands going in the same direction. This is a rein we typically think of used in western riding. But a, a mild form of the neck rein is used in dressage and it's used in jumping. Both hands going here to the right. We want to be careful again, just like the indirect rein, that the rein closest to the mane doesn't cross completely over the neck. And in the neck rein, it's used to bring the neck and shoulders around the turn in a faster way. The outside rein should put pressure on the neck, but not cross over the neck. The neck rein keeps flexion in direction of the turn rather than counterflexion like in the indirect rein. So here we see the neck rein used. The left rein is putting pressure on the neck. The right rein is opening. So the horse is bending and slightly looking in the direction that he's going. The rider must be mindful when using the neck rein that the horse's hind legs continue to step forward and the energy is received into the hand. What we don't want is for the hind legs to spin. So whether walking, trotting, or cantering, be sure that the hind legs are moving forward into the hand first and then take the neck rein to turn the shoulders and the neck around.